Hi there everybody, in today's video I have this uh, Mercedes B-Class This is a 2006 um, I need to change the uh, condenser, the aircon condenser That one there um, As the gas, uh, the aircon is not working, the gas has leaked out um, And I need to replace that um, Again, I had my gas uh, checked uh, it was meant to be recharged, but it was uh, slightly leaking, so um, the company removed all the gas so I can go ahead and do the, the replacement. So just make sure there's no gas in your system if you're going to do this job. Um, now, to get it out, we ideally want to remove the bumper. So, I'm going to be removing the front bumper. Um, I've already undone one side, but uh, we'll just have a look at this side, um, which is the passenger side, more or less what we need to do. There are two 8mm screws that we need to release up here, inside of here. So, all this here is held in by some clips which uh, some of them are missing on this car but there's just some uh, sort of a plastic little buttoners buttons that hold in the um, the mud guard in one of the eight mil bolts um, you can actually just about remove without removing anything else and it's usually sitting just here so that's just an 8 new fault okay so just about remove that one now um, the little plastic clips this one just below that this one here try to get your uh, tool in there, remove the, the center bit just pull the center bit out and then you'll be able to pull that clip out there will be another one a little bit below but that one looks like that one wasn't in properly And there will be another one at the bottom where this mud guard it's uh, held in on the bumper. So we just remove that as well, and that's gonna give you a little bit of room. If I can just bend that to one side, I think that is gonna give us room to get to get up here. Up there is the uh, the other eight mil bolt that we want to be removing so that will be just up here I'm using a small ratchet to be able to access that area Okay, that's the other one. Now, also, in there, there's like a clump that we want to remove. So, a little bit difficult to film here, but when I remove this Oh, 
home. That thing there basically that's going to allow us to be able to open this because um, just need to be able to pull this out. So we just want to disconnect it from these uh, dots here, those little pointy bits. These bits are plugged into, into the wing here. So once you remove that clamp, you'll be able to separate this. And also, we need to push the bumper forwards and try to release it from from here, this mount. So that bit we will need to push forwards, but at the same time we need to make sure this is disconnected, otherwise you won't be able to push it. You need to pull it out and then and that way. Um, but also from underneath we need to disconnect um, more of those little plastic um, pins. So I'm gonna just put the car up in a minute. Okay, just a quick look here. Some of the little, um, this bit here is missing. It's supposed to be uh, holding into he somewhere here. Uh, so those little pins, there would be some pins here those plastic ones and they are missing. Now there is a there's a few 8 mil bolts we need to release as well. So they're just holding this plate down here. There's one of them. And the other one will be just in that square hole which you can't see because um, it's come out its place. So it's just I think the bumper maybe may have had an encounter with something. And that area is just uh, a little bit dislocated. So I've removed two of those screws. But um, there's another three. There's a center one and another two on the other side, which I already removed. Okay, so now I'm going to lower the car. Um, the bumper is coming out a little bit because I pulled it out from the driver's side um, but I'm, I want to lower it so okay got the car down um, I removed the the grill here but you don't need to do that really it doesn't need to be removed um, all you need to do to release the bumper is remove this there's a 10 mil bolt here and there's a 10 mil bolt on the other side um, I use I use my electric uh, my electric gun and I snap the the little bolt because it's really corroded. So be careful with those. Just uh, put some WD-40. So I snap one, the other one is okay. But now I have to drill that hole. Okay, let's uh, try to remove this bumper now. So I'm just disconnecting the the fog lights. You just need to press on the clips. As you can see, my grill is come out, but you don't need to remove the grill. Okay, so with the bumper off, um, life will be a lot easier. Now, um, just in case you don't know how to disconnect the, this, you just uh, press them on the sides and they unplug. Um, and the little temperature sensor here, that also just pops out. And the other side, there are two cables, one for the, 
fog light and the other one that supplies power to the parking sensors if you have them. Again, just have to press on the sides and those come out. Okay, so now we have a lot of uh, room here to work. So what we're gonna do next is we want to um, remove the little uh, plastic pins that hold this cover here. And there is uh, one, two, three. There is six of those. It's just again those little plastic pins that um, go into these holes. There is six of them, which I already removed. Um, that will allow us to get this, hopefully get this off. Okay, so um, we want to be removing this plastic. All this plastic is together, but it, it separates uh, it's, it's somewhere there. Um, ideally, we would, we would want to remove this metal here, but um, to remove the bolt here, this bolt will hit the headlight which means then we have to remove the headlight to get that bolt out so we're just gonna try to I loosen these bolts so I have a little bit of movement there um, and by bending this plastic a little bit we're gonna try to disconnect it I've already disconnected this side so basically this uh, this plastic here is plugged into there and it's it slides onto the side and, and it secures in there so that bit these two are, are together so, and what we want to do is separate them so we can remove this so I'm gonna try the same on this end this end is also also connected uh, together there so we just want to separate it this might not <coughs> want to stick there right okay so that's come kind of separated just had to uh, bend the plastic at the bottom a bit but we can now remove that and we can also remove the bottom one now we have uh, good access to this condenser uh, we just need to remove this from the front of it so there's two Torx T25s screwed here I already removed them that's just holding that in there so you can remove those and then on this end we just need to press on this little plastic clips on the side so we just want to be careful we, we don't want to disturb it too much now I'm just going to undo the the bolt that's plugged into this side of the condenser that bolt is just one of those uh, star types this size is what is this um, it's an E10 E10 
Okay, that's off. There will be another one at the bottom we want to undo. Okay, so we want to disconnect this area here. So as I said, just make sure uh, you have no gas in the system. Obviously, if it's been leaking, there wouldn't be, but um, but just in case, have it checked. So I was just tapping that a little bit so I can get a little bit of a leeway here to to disconnect this um, pipe here. I might need a little bit more really now we just need to unplug uh, there's a sensor in here So with that sensor you just need to press this bit here to get it released. Okay, so this area is ready to come out. Um, we're probably going to need to remove that sensor once this is out and put it in the other, um, put it in the new condenser. I'm going to do a similar procedure here just to Just to release this pipe. So that has been released, and now it's a matter of getting this uh, this condenser disconnected from here and uh, lowering it. I'm gonna bring it sort of down. The condenser is uh, just clipped on here. So we just need to release it from, uh, from these clips here. So then we will be able to lower it just down this way. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, that's uh, released there. And now um, the condenser is, uh, we're gonna lower it down. So it's just clipped on one side, the other side is not, doesn't have a clip.
Okay, so that came out. Um, sort of fell apart a little bit on my hand as I was pulling it down. Um, and now we need to disconnect that switch there. So I'm gonna use uh, one of these. If you have a deep socket that size or a spanner, you could uh, use that instead. I may just need to hold this on the on the vise. There's a little O-ring in there, so just make sure you remove that. Okay, so you might find that there's a little, a little pin there. It's like a little guide for when you refit the pipe. Now, um, it's so stuck in there, I can't really take it out. Um, but it's not really something that is essential, essential. It's just a little guide when you're refitting um, the pipe. So if we do it carefully anyway, we can get it, we can get it okay. It, it normally will fit in that little hole there. Um, as you can see, I already got my sensor in there um, I put the little o-ring in it with I uh, cleaned it and then put a bit of grease and then got the o-ring there you can't really fit any o-ring it's got to be special for air conditioning now this particular kit came with a couple of o-rings as well so we can replace those. There's a large one and a smaller one. So the large one is for the, the pipe that's at the top and the smaller one is for the, the pipe that uh, screws onto the bottom, onto that. Uh, just make sure they, are, they fit correctly um, and they are the, the right size. So otherwise, um, you can have um, leaks from from those. But again, those O-rings are not any kind. They are special for this type of application. Um, this one has got its pin in there, so that's good news. So I'm just going to remove that O-ring. Just make sure the area here is uh, clean. Other kits also come with these yellow bits. So I think it just depends how much you pay, really. Okay, so just I'm making sure this is a little bit... clean that before really right um, same will be for the the one that's at the bottom same idea so disconnect remove that o-ring there
Just uh, clean that area a little bit. And we can refit that. So just uh, cleaning the radiator here a little bit. That's the this radiator is for the coolant. So don't forget to tighten your sensor. And now we're going to try to get this up here. Okay, that's uh, fitted all right in there. I don't really know why it's a bit of a fiddle. It seems like a straight uh, forward job. Um, but it gives you a little bit of a, a workout there. There's a little plastic pin behind this. It's coming out of the, the back of this. Where the radiator is, there's a plastic like mount. Uh, it's coming out. It just this hole needs to go into that little pin. Okay, now I'm going to secure those two, two torques. And now, um, okay, so now we're gonna reconnect the pipes before we close the area. Um, this one goes in there remove that so I just got some a uh, little bit of grease just some, some multi-purpose grease around there And that's hopefully going to go in there a lot easier. That pipe is there and we can just get the little bolt in. Okay, don't over tighten that, it will just again it will just snap in there. And make your job a lot harder. So, same procedure for the bottom here. I just already uh, applied a little bit of grease to that pipe. I'm using an 8mm here, the 8mm just about fits this uh, type of bolt as well. So this is the end that didn't have a little pin.
Okay, and now I'm going to reconnect the sensor as well. Okay, the sensor is in. And the pipe is also connected. this other pipe is connected so now we can fit our plastic covers again the covers are just a little bit of a fiddle just need to try to slide these bits into the top bit so we have to bend them and so on a little bit sure the bonnet release is also coming out from this plastic This plastic um, slides in just some plastic pins there on the side. Don't know if that can be seen, that little pin there. This one here. So that plastic slides in there. Same on the other side. So now just a fiddle with the other side as well. Try and get it in. Okay, that's going in there. Just make sure it goes on the pin at the back. And just make sure the holes at the top line up. Okay, so now it's uh, time to get the bumper back in there. Um, all we're going to need to do is plug the fog lights, if you have fog lights, um, just the temperature sensor on the side um, and also the sensors if you have sensors. I suppose you could connect the lights and things afterwards, but... But I've 
got them on now, so... So that's pretty much it really, um, that slides in there and now it's just a matter of refitting all the, the two little bolts with the clamps. So it's got a, the clamp that goes in, inside that we removed, the two 8mm bolts and all the little plastic clips that hold the mud guard and also underneath on both sides. There's also five 8 mils at the bottom. Um, and the two 10 mils up here I broke that one <laughs> unfortunately so and then I'm gonna refit my grill which uh, you don't need to remove for this procedure and then there is six plastic clips that hold this in as well um, and well as far as uh, removing and changing that condenser this is more or less what um, you need to do hope this video helps and uh, thank you for watching